this video we will see week 5 assignment 5 for the course digital electronic circuits first question the hexadecimal representation for 3217 and 7645 both are in octal number system so we have to convert that into hexadecimal we will see the solution for that one so 3217 so is written in binary now and uh, now consider 4 4 uh, binary digits so this is equal to f and 1 triple zero is 8 0 double 1 zero is 6 so likewise you can convert it for 7 6 4 5 first convert this octal to binary and then binary to hexadecimal so 6 8 f f a 5 option b 6 8 f a f a 5 f a 5 option b 6 8 f f a 5 6 8 f f a 5 option b second one so we have to compute uh, the same two numbers the same two numbers the same two numbers we have to compute uh, i mean uh, subtract one from the another this is for uh, octal number system this is for decimal number system so we will see that one <coughs> so the first one is octal number system convert this into binary convert the second number also into binary and then subtract one from the another so you will get so you will get a uh, uh, result here and that result is converted back to uh, octal number system which is 4426 octal number system so uh, similarly for hexadecimal convert to binary second number also convert to binary subtract one from the another so you will get uh, now 237e this is 7e so 4426 option d it is option d so 4426 237e not f option d 2 237e 4426 so which of the following statements are not true so you can see here uh, so this is option a 1 and 2 only so what is 1 so in fixed point representation width and position of binary point are not defined actually they are defined not true floating point representation has fixed precision no it is a variable precision so option a fourth one the range of values that can be represented by fixed 16 comma 8 point representation is we will see the solution so to find the range this is the formula we can use 2 power sigma minus 2 power minus b what is sigma here the number of bits before decimal point is 8 so number of bits after decimal point is also 8 so 2 power 8 minus 2 power minus 8 this is 256 and this value is point double zero three nine so we will get this as the range is zero to two fifty five point nine nine this is very important option c so option c is two fifty five point nine nine fifth one consider the equation so they are given two p three six four two a f q p and q are unknown we need to find p and q this is in octal number system this is in decimal number system so we'll see the solution now so i have taken a 2p364 convert this octal into a decimal number system and similarly convert the hexadecimal number into a decimal number system both i am converting into decimal so for that we are simply multiplying each digit by corresponding place value place value okay this is uh, already you know this one so I have shown here. So here, uh, uh, here except this number five one two except this number you have to add all. So that will be eight four three six plus five one two p. This side except q add all this number that will be one zero nine nine two. Now by trial and error method, I am assuming first p equal to five and q equal to four. And what I found is that is exactly equal to LHS equal to RHS. That is. 10996 equal to 10996 so p equal to 5 q equal to 4 option c p equal to 5 q equal to 4
four. Sixth one, given true's complement sign representation of P. So this is true's sign sign representation. Okay, it's a signed true's complement representation. So we need to find P. What is the actual number P? And divide that by three, and then we have to convert that into true's complement form. Okay. So I think uh, uh, we'll see here. So sixth one. So the given number true's complement. This is. So to find uh, what is this number, I am again uh, converting this number into true's complement form. So what I get is positive twelve. That means the given number is the given number is minus twelve. The given number is minus twelve. So now what I have to do? So here I found out what is the number p. This is p. P divided by three is equal to minus four. So again I need to convert this minus four into true's complement form, and that is here. So how to find true's complement? Simply convert uh, write binary I mean decimal four into binary, convert this into ones complement, and then convert into ones uh, one ones complement to true's complement by simply adding one to the ones complement. So you will get as six six ones are there. Do zero zero. Answer is option C. So in option C, six ones double zero. Let us move on to seventh one. So a and b are decimal integers. So this double one zero zero is signed magnitude form for a, and the same number is signed ones complement representation for b. So we'll try to. So we have to find b minus a, and then complement. Take complement ones complement. So seventh one. A is equal to signed magnitude number one one zero zero. So this MSB will be negative number. Remaining is magnitude, which is nothing but four. That means this is this number is actually minus four. A is minus four. Uh, similarly for B, which is signed ones complement form. So one one double zero. So if we convert this one, this is actually equivalent to minus three. So minus three. If you find two signed Once complement form, it is one one double zero. So now b equal to minus three. Now they are asking for b minus a. B is minus three. A is minus four. So minus three minus of minus four, that will be minus three plus four. That is equal to plus one. So this plus one is in binary becomes triple zero one. Once complement of this will be triple one zero. Triple one zero. Answer D. Triple one zero. So we have come to the end of part one. Thank you, viewers.